This is the fourth P6 battery EVA. EV1 with the red stripes egresses the airlock with a tool bag. Then EV2 egresses and proceeds up to and along the ISS forward face to the port 6 for Bravo location. EV1 follows the same path, pausing to verify the safety tether configuration. EV2 moves the portable foot restraint at the worksite. EV1 proceeds to the exposed pallet and stows her tool bag. EV1 verifies her portable foot restraint settings while EV2 sets up her tool bag. Note the video shows crew removing the nickel hydrogen battery from slot four. During the previous EVA, battery four was removed and installed into an empty slot at the exposed pallet. For EVA four, the crew will start at the exposed pallet and remove an adapter plate, then work together to install it in slot four on the integrated equipment assembly. EV1 will move mass handling aids called scoops from the old battery to a new lithium ion battery. EV2 is shown ingressing the portable foot restraint and installing the adapter plate. EV1 will move handling aids from battery 3 to battery 6. EV2 will complete the electrical circuit of the second 4 Bravo pair by connecting a cable. EV1 and 2 will work together to remove the old nickel hydrogen battery in slot 6. EV2 will brake torque on two bolts with a ratchet wrench, then release the bolts using a pistol grip tool. The old battery will be installed on top of the adapter plate in slot four.
and 2, go back to the exposed pellet to retrieve a new lithium ion battery. This battery will then be shepherded to the integrated equipment assembly. EV2 will ingress the portable foot restraint and install the new battery in slot 6. work together to remove the old nickel hydrogen battery in slot 5. After releasing the bolts, battery 5 is removed and shepherded to the exposed pallet. EV1 stows the old battery on the body restraint tether. Then the final adapter plate is removed from the exposed pallet and handed to EV2. EV2 brings the adapter plate to slot 5. EV1 installs the old battery onto the exposed pallet and retrieves the two handling aids from the old battery. EV2 installs the adapter plate by driving two bolts, then completes the electrical circuit of the third power channel pairing. That completes the planned task for this EVA. EV1 and 2 stow their tools, including handling aids, and stow their tool bags onto the portable foot restraints. The EV crew retrieve the two gap spanners which were used to help translate across the integrated equipment assembly. They stow the portable foot restraints and tool bags on their body restraint tethers and go to the ISS forward face. EV1 puts her portable foot restraint on the port crew equipment translational aid cart. EV2 will put her portable foot restraint at the airlock, which is different than what is shown in this video. EV2 will then ingress the airlock with her trail bag. EV1 deconfigures the safety tethers. She then returns to the airlock and ingresses. This concludes the EVA.